welcome to my bougie segment. Anyway, so um, I am going to be um, testing out to what I consider to be very well known and dare I say bougie products. And one of them is, I featured it here recently, but I have yet to try it. So I'm going to try it today. And this is Fenty Cosmetics, it's Fenty Beauty. These are their lip colors, two of them anyway. They're Stunna Lip Paint. And I have one in unlocked and the other in unattached. So I'm not sure which one I'm gonna use, but we're gonna start off with this bougie-ness by bringing up a company that hasn't been brought up in a while, and that is Hourglass. Remember them? A couple of years ago, they were all the rage, all talked about on all the beauty channels here on YouTube. And then like, after a bit, they just kind of subsided and I don't know why. Hourglass Veil, this is a mineral primer, which is oil free. And this is the one fluid ounce or 30 ml size. I think they have a bigger size. It's called the Jumbo, um, but I have, I guess, what's considered the full size or standard size. They also have a smaller one, I think, at 8.5 ounces. Just the same. I can't allow someone like you and the 8.5, the tiny one, is like $20. So I have been buying the small one, so I said, let me invest in the bigger one. The next one I have here is the Vanish Seamless Finish Foundation Stick. And this was the big deal that everybody was raving about. And I got it in the color cream, in case... I don't know if this is my same color, but we'll find out. I did get it at the counter, so I'm hoping that it is the color that they say it is. And then I got as a, I guess, a little bit of a parting gift. This is the um, Hourglass Ambient Light Correcting Primer. And for some reason, it came in this box. So I'm curious to see how this looks. So let's open it. Let's see. I think this is the gift option, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Mm-hmm. This is what it looks like. Just the same. I can't and I'll put all the prices here. Um, but let's just say this, this stuff is just not cheap. This is in Luminous Light and is the Light Correcting Primer Base Correctant Linear. Like Luminous Light. So once I open this, it's good for 12 months. That's the little thing back there. So this is one primer. And then I have foundation stick as well as the mineral primer veil, which is also awesome. That I do know, I've tried that before. So this, this will be interesting to try. This is a light correcting primer. I don't know what that means, but I will look it up and I'll post the description up above. Let's see if we can open this. It has seal, so that's good. how this looks when it comes out. I have to squeeze a little bit, kind of. I don't want to like, okay, here we go. You see it? Uh-huh. This seems like it might have a slight coloring to it. Hmm. I have no attachment to the name Bantosa. It smells like makeup. It doesn't really have like, like a fragrance. And I'm putting it on the usual spots that I have. This is my T zone right here. So I normally would put it on my T zone and here on the tops of my cheek, a little above my chin, and call it a day. It just smells like paint, not, not especially sexy. I don't know what it's supposed to do, but, hmm. I don't know. So what's the next thing here? Let's try the mineral primer. 
And I know I tried that one, but. I don't know, it's just. Okay, it's this bad boy right here. Now the jumbo size for this is 75. This is the one in between, it's just full size. So I'm assuming it's around $50 or so because the smaller one, the travel size one, is like $20 and it's this big. <laughs> so I'm assuming this is at least double the price. Made of glass. This is not cheap. And it has a pump, which is nice. This is the one I'm most familiar with since I've bought it before at the, um, the travel size of Sephora. And that's the liquid right there. What I liked about this is that, you see that illuminating aspect right there? That's what I liked. So it sort of like gives like a shimmer, almost like a pearlescence. Electric fluorescent cast iridescence iridescence that's what I'm looking for and uh, there you go that's it right there in a nutshell but again this is the primer and it feels almost silky to the touch when I touch my face my face feels like I put like a powder but you see it went on kind of liquidy right this is the foundation stick And it's cool cream. Put out about that much, maybe a little less, like that. And then just, oh, it goes on really creamy. That's good. It's like it melts with the, um, with the temperature of the skin. It feels very creamy. What reminds me, this kind of reminiscent of, is the Beauty Bakery Butter um, Primer. Can't allow someone like you to wear it. says it provides full coverage there is still a glow to my skin I don't know if that's because of the foundation or the primer underneath I suspect it may be the latter more than the former and um, covering a multitude of sins on my face and I look the color match is okay you know I mean it does at least match my neck I don't have to worry about that. I just didn't realize how pale I was in the face. I have to put some color back in here. Unattached or unlocked? Oh gosh. They both look gorgeous. I'm gonna go with unlocked. Because why not? I just wanna see what they look like. Look how pretty. This is so pretty. Look at that. Is that gorgeous? Or is that gorgeous? And it looks like a, like the old-fashioned um, nail polishes, the way they used to look, I guess. I'm just going to see here. So, okay. So I pulled it out, and the nub is, like, really short. Okay. 
Okay, so while this is still saying my face, I'm gonna use my Becca. This is their set Hydra Mist Set and Refresh Powder. This stuff is amazing. Can't allow someone like you to wear it. Lover says here, keep me closed to keep me cool. Be careful. It is powdery. And then I'm just gonna set it like so. I don't know if it'll work, but I'm gonna try it anyway. I'm just gonna put the little dots there real quick, see what happens. And before it dries, just maybe that won't work with this brush. Maybe it won't. I need this maybe. Okay, what did we learn today? The lip paint is not for the, it's not for the cheeks. Oof. Okay, so we learned that lesson. But I can always go back with a little, how you call it? I can keep buffing at this. Okay, so what I did was I took a little bit of the foundation and went back after buffing it out as much as I could. Okay, for mascara, because I feel I still need a little bit of more definition. I'm gonna use the Uma Beauty Drama Bomb. Just to give my eyes some definition. Nice, isn't it? This brand is particularly bougie, but it is basic. <laughs> and this is the Basic Beauty. And this is their Bronzy like AF Bronzer Palette. So I'm really needing to put some color in his face. I recently got it in one of my subscription boxes. I think it was the Ipsy Glam Bag Plus for July. And I'll post that video somewhere here, here, or at the end of this video. And I'm just going to use this bad boy here and just see if I can this will help me oh here we go I'm getting some color back so what do you think of my mini bougie look let me know in the comments below and if you haven't already hit that like button and even better hit the subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you'll know my next video will be up. I'm gonna keep this on for a bit. I'm planning to go out later. I have to run errands, so this is a little extra, but I don't mind. It says that it's supposed to keep. It's supposed to be fine in water. So we'll, we'll see what happens if it runs, if it, if it drags, if it smears, if it just collapses, who knows? <laughs> I will be checking in. I most likely will post the check-in um, if not at the end of this video, then I may also post on Instagram. I'm not sure yet, but we'll see. Thank you so much for watching my latest little makeup adventure and hope to see you soon on my next video. Take care. Stay safe. Bye.